Mommy's special one is 7.1. Today's lesson is to find a part of a group. Our essential question, how can you find a fractional part of a group? Let's unlock the problem. Maya collects stamps. She has 20 stamps in her collection. Four-fifths of her stamps have been canceled. How many of the stamps in Maya's collection have been canceled? So four-fifths of 20, because she has 20 stamps, four-fifths of them have been canceled. So we're going to put 20 counters on your math board. You could use, I have counters in the back of the room if you want them, um, or you can use your fraction tiles if you want. Since you want to find four-fifths of the stamp, you should arrange the 20 counters into how many equal groups? If you said five, because I have five right there, then you were correct. The answer is five. So you're going to arrange them into five equal groups. And once we do that, all right, so let's just draw them out. I've got my five boxes down here. There's my five groups, and I have 20 counters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So I used my 20 counters, and if I look in each of these boxes, I placed four. So I have five groups of four. So in each of the groups is four. Okay, it says each group, let me come back here. Each group represents blank of the stamps in the circle of four fifths of the counters. So one fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, five fifths. So each of these represents one fifth okay, of the stamps, each one of these little groups. Now, if I want to circle four fifths of the counters, I'm going to have to circle one, two, three, four, because that's going to be four of the fifths, right? So I'm making four circles. Um, how many counters did I circle? So I circled four groups, but how many counters did I circle? Well, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So counters, I circled sixteen counters. So four fifths of twenty is sixteen. Or 4 fifths times 20 is 16. So 16 of the stamps have been canceled out. Max Stamp Collection has stamps from different countries. He has 12 stamps from Canada. Of those 12 stamps, two-thirds of them have pictures of Queen Elizabeth II. How many stamps have the Queen on them? So we're going to draw an array to represent the 12 stamps by drawing an X for each stamp. Since you want to find two-thirds of the stamp, your array should show... How many rows? So again, we're going to look at this bottom, and it has a three. So we're going to want three rows, okay? All right, so if I'm doing three rows, one, two, three. And I'm going to keep going until I get to 12. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So now I have 12 stamps, and I have them in groups of three. It says, circle blank of the three rows to show two-thirds of 12. Well, two-thirds of 12, if each of these is a third, there's one-third, and there's two-thirds. So I'm going to circle two of the three rows to show two-thirds, right? I'm going to circle both of these. There are how many X's in the circle? Well, let's find out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the answer is eight X's circled. So complete the number sentence. Two third of 12 is eight, or two thirds times 12 is eight. So there are eight stamps with a picture of Queen Elizabeth II. All right, this next question asks us to use some appropriate tools. On your math board, use counters to find four sixths of 12. Explain why the answer is the same answer as when you do two thirds of 12. Well, if I'm looking at six and I'm looking at three, and I'm kind of noticing that four sixths and two thirds is an equivalent fraction because I can reduce four sixths into two thirds. So of course it's gonna be the same answer. Okay, let's look at the next one. It says Susanna has 16 stamps in her collection. Three fourths of the stamps are from the United States. How many of your stamps are from the United States? So let's do an array again. 
Remember the bottom number is four, so I'm gonna make my groups of four. So I'm gonna do the X's like I did before. So one, two, three, four. And what number am I counting up to? I'm counting up to 16, right? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So now I've got sixteen. Now how many am I circling? I'm circling three groups. So there's three groups. How many stamps are in my group? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So the answer is twelve. If Susanna's stamps are from the United States, and if I look here, I have one, two, three, four, that are not from the United States. Okay, let's do our share and show model. We're going to complete the model to solve. So we need eight rows, right? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rows, and we needed to get to the number 16. So how many rows are there? Well, we have eight rows. So we're going to write the number 8. How many counters are in each row? Looks like we have two counters in each row. And then it says circle blank rows to solve the problem. Well, I need to circle how many? 7. So I'm going to circle 7 rows to solve the problem. How many counters, how many counters are circled? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So the answer to that is 14. So 7 eighths of 16 or 7 eighths times 16 is 14 okay so you can do the same here use the models to help you on the next ones all right for your homework let's look at a couple of these so let's look at number three six tenths times ten okay or six tenths of ten okay so on this one sorry I think I went ahead um, I need to make 10 groups so and I have to get to 10 so it's kind of easy I just made 10 I really could only make one group and then I'm going to circle six of them so how many are circled the answer is six I know that one's kind of a weird one so let's do number four so I need to make three groups and I've got to go to nine so one two three four five six seven eight nine and of them I need to circle two groups so I'm going to circle two groups how many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. So again, my answer is six. Okay, I'm gonna do one more with you. Let's do this one. So in my groups, it's gonna be five. So one, two, three, four, five. And what I'm counting to is 10. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many groups I need to circle is four. So there's one, two, three, four. See how I circled four of those five groups? And then to find out my answer, I'm going to count how many are on the inside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So my answer is eight. All right, let's just look at this model one right here. So it says use the model to find one third of 15. So as you can see, they've already done the three groups because there's one, two, three groups, and they've already counted to the 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And now we need to circle just one of those groups, okay? And how many is in that group is one, two, three, four, five. So your answer is five. One third times 15 is five. A little bit confusing, I know. Okay, um, spiral review should be pretty easy. Let me pick one of those to do with you. I think I'm gonna do this one because it's a little more challenging. Okay, so Rafi had a board that was 15 and a half feet long. He cut three pieces off the board that are each three and seven eighths feet long. How much of the board is left? Well, first of all, I have a half and I have eight on the bottom. So I wanna first of all make my bottoms be the same. So if this bottom's gonna be eight, I can easily make that one be eight by multiplying it by four over four. So I'm gonna have 15, and I've got one half, and I multiply that by four over four. Okay, so that I get an equivalent fraction of 15, 4 times 1 is 4, 2 times 4 is 8. So now I have the equivalent fraction, I've just made this be an equivalent fraction of 15 and 4 eighths. Now I'm cutting 3 pieces and I'm cutting them this big. So I have 3 and 7 eighths, I could multiply that or I could just add 3, 7 eighths, 
plus 3 7 eighths or I could do 3 and 7 eighths times but let's just add them so we have 3 6 9 holes and then we have 7 plus 7 which is 14 plus another 7 which is 21 eighths but we have a bigger number on the top so obviously 8 goes into 21 okay 8 goes into 21 two times so that means two more holes two more holes so this is not going to be nine this is going to be an 11 okay it goes in two holes which is 16 so 17 18 19 20 21 with five left over so we have 11 and 5 eighths so that's how much the three pieces were and we started out with a 15 and 4 eighths and I'm just going to move over here so I have 15 and 4 eighths minus the 11 and 5 eighths for the three pieces is going to give me how much the board is left. Well, I can't take 4 from 5, so I'm going to have to borrow 1, making this be 14. And that one hole is going to be worth 8 pieces. So I'm going to take that 8 pieces and I'm going to add it to the 4. And I'm going to get 12 eighths up here, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. So now I have 14 minus 11, which is 3 holes. And then I have 12 minus 5, which is 7 eighths. So that the board that's left over is actually going to be 3 and 7 eighths. Are you going to do the rest on your own or you can work with a partner? You can see me up front and I will happily help you. Good luck.